Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I'm not exactly in stealth mode at the minute, but who cares? <laughs> Maximum stay three hours. So this is gonna be where I'm gonna sleep. Stealth camping in Tesco. So after a couple of weeks of, to be honest with you, really struggling mentally, I've just been not in the best frame of mind. Recently, I've been waking up, looking outside. It's gray, it's cloudy, it's wet, it's miserable. And I've had absolutely no motivation, no desire or inspiration to literally do anything. I'm feeling slightly better now and I'm hoping that getting out tonight and doing some stealth camping will make me feel a bit more uplifted, give me that sense of adventure, and uh, hopefully should be a nice fun evening. An update for you all about the car. I was hoping to have a up and running 100%, but sadly the LPG I'm really, really having massive problems with. I am in talks with a subscriber from the channel, Johnny, so a massive thank you to you because you've been a huge help at trying to understand and get a bit more information on what might be going wrong with my car so i'm really hoping over the next couple of weeks i can try and get this finally fixed so tonight we are going to be going stealth camping at tesco which is probably the uk's biggest supermarket having not been out and done anything like this in a couple of weeks for some reason tesco was just calling to me so we're going to drive over there probably take around an hour or so and then yeah as always i'll show you the setup and what we get up to tonight This concerns me. These yellow barriers, that is not looking good. No taxis, mini cabs or private hire vehicles waiting or parking. Okay, we're going back round again. That was just a quick scouting mission. Okay, we are parked up in a massive, massive Tesco Extra Superstore. This Tesco is right next to Gatwick Airport. It's the massive one, literally, as I said, next door. You can't miss it. And car park wise, it's absolutely huge. It's one of the biggest ones I've seen by far. However, as you saw, there's a couple of issues which are making me nervous. One, this Tesco supermarket, I believe is not 24 hours. So I'm gonna have to double check that. Two, there's a lot of parking signs here saying that it's restricted parking. However, I haven't seen anything that says you can't stay for more than three hours. So I'm a bit unsure about that. And the third one, which is by far the biggest issue was the fact that there's a big yellow gate, which looks like it's going to be getting locked when this Tesco closes this evening. The opening times for this Tesco Extra are 6 a.m. to midnight. So, I'm wondering, do they close that barrier at 12 o'clock? Surely they must do. Mm. So I've just gone onto the internet on Safari and I'm just typed in Tesco Extra Gatwick parking rules and then it brings up some information about the one I'm staying at. So I've got two hours free, maximum stay three hours. I really just do not know what to do, whether to even try and stay here or not, because I think whatever happens, I'm probably gonna be getting a 70 pound fine. What I'm gonna do is just go and have a proper read of one of these signs. A parking charge notice may be issued when you allow your vehicle to remain in this car park in the breach of the above terms and conditions. I've not thought this one through at all. For some reason, I thought this Tesco's was 24 hours, just because, I don't know, it was next to the airport. I just assumed it was. ladies oh that is a bloke i apologize on a positive note and uh, something different i have a few upgrades to show you guys first of all i now have a portable fan which i've just clamped up here oh god now i've got to clamp it back bear with me i bought this fan on amazon it's just a battery powered one so when i'm cooking now at least i can blow some of the steam and the hot air out of the window i also have a thermostat because I was always interested and intrigued to know what the temperature was inside. 
inside the car it's actually pretty warm 15.9 degrees oh my god 76 percent humidity or moisture in the air i think that is there's a few other things that i've got as well where is it finally woohoo i got myself a hot water bottle one with a nice soft fur outing on it but to be honest the temperature doesn't actually look like it's going to be getting very cold tonight so i don't actually think i'll be needing this i bought myself a pack of these because i'm always complaining about having cold feet these are basically some feet warmers i'm not exactly sure the science behind it and how it works but this is what it is all you do is take off the outer shielding or protection stick it on the underside of your foot as you can see from the picture there and then you put your shoe on and your feet will be nice and warm i now have a designated pee bottle <laughs> insert penis in here just in case you weren't aware it's half time at the football chelsea one nil up against newcastle so happy days time to go inside and grab something to cook tonight and i'm thinking something even easier than what i usually do I think I might try and see if they have one of those canned curries or chili con carne again or something along those lines with some rice. Chicken tikka masala. Well, at least I figured out what's going on with the opening times of this place. So it does look like this was a 24 hour Tesco supermarket. However, I assume because of COVID and everything like that, that they've now reduced the opening times. So I'm gonna take the hit and the risk and assume that they don't close that yellow barrier gate. And if I do get woken up at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night, well, then at least it should make for an entertaining video. Anyway, as you saw, I picked up some canned chicken tikka masala. This one is just Tesco home brand. And then I picked up a couple of rices before, but then decided to go for Uncle Ben's because one, it's delicious. And you can actually just fry this in a pan without any water or anything for a couple of minutes. So tonight's dinner literally cost about two pounds 50, something ridiculous like that. I'm not actually very hungry tonight, so this should do the job. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad actually. Ah, smells like a chicken tikka masala as well. Oh, shit! I think it's burning at the bottom. Ah. Something's definitely burning. I think I've just burnt the rice to smithereens or something. Something's burnt. It absolutely stinks in here. Oh yeah, I've just absolutely ah! fried the bottom of this. I thought this would be very easy and very simple, which it was. It was just bad execution. I probably should have fried the rice first on a low heat and then chucked in the canned chicken tikka masala. Oh God, yeah, yeah, not the best meal I've ever cooked in here. In fact, <laughs> that's by far the worst meal I've cooked in here. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm getting lumps of burnt rice at the bottom. 
That's what I've just burnt at the bottom of my jet boil. The rain has just started to come down. Why England, can't we have just two days in a row of no rain? Please, please. Oh no, what's wrong with this door now? Oh my God. Oh. I tell you what, this car's got more issues than me. And that's saying something. Oh, this weather is absolutely grim. I'm not exactly in stealth mode at the minute, but who cares? <laughs> Look, someone could just see me inside cooking. Brilliant, love it. Gonna finish watching the Chelsea game, then I think we'll do a quick lap around the car park, go outside of the Tesco just for a couple of minutes, just to try and fool the CCTV cameras. Yes, I know it's not gonna do anything, but just for peace of mind, because then I will have re-entered and my three hours should then start again. I just got out of the car to take a picture and the lady saw my camera and my, my microphone and my just my setup and everything and she said to me oh what are you doing are you a blogger I said nah kind of not really she said what do you do I said I car camp I sleep in my car and she goes ah oh, you do dogging do you <laughs> no no dogging has happened in this car so far although that might be the next video idea I think I've just found the perfect spot right behind a tiny wall back there might be good because i don't know if the cameras will actually even be able to see me from there this doesn't look obvious at all that i'm driving around the car park three times okay so what i've done is park just behind this tiny wall here because obviously you've got one street like there but it's kind of half protected by the wall at the back you've got some trees and some bushes if they do decide to lock that gate, my car is even slightly hidden away that you might not even notice that somebody was still parked in here. So this is going to be where I'm going to sleep, stealth camping in Tesco. Shouldn't have any trouble here in terms of anybody walking past or trying to get a trolley or going shopping. The only thing that I'm slightly nervous about is getting that knock around midnight if they do decide to close that gate that you saw me drive in. We're in. A lot of people have suggested that I invest in getting a new van. And to be honest with you, I am tempted because I would love something with a bit more headroom and something that I'm just able to stand up in properly. It is good to have the Galaxy back though and not be stuck in that Jeep like I was last time because that was a pain in the ass having to try and cover up all the windows and there's even less headroom in that than there is in here. I am toying with the idea of getting a van but financially I'm not sure if it's worth it at the moment. I can't believe that the channel is almost at 100,000 subscribers that's absolutely crazy and something I never imagined so help me get over the line please do subscribe if you are new to the channel. Is it sad that while I'm car camping, I'm still watching other people truck camping, car camping, boat camping, you name it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head off to bed. Fingers crossed for no knocks on the windows in the middle of the night, but only time will tell. It is about 10 to 11 now, so I'll find out in about an hour if they do close that gate because then I'm sure they'll be wanting to kick everybody out of the car park so they can actually lock it and close it. I'll catch you guys in the morning or maybe in an hour. Oh, <laughs> I just pulled down my curtain and there was a squirrel literally just sat on this wall staring right at me. So as you can see the fact that I'm still here, there was no knock in the middle of the night. Absolutely 
nothing. I didn't sleep very well though because of Gatwick Airport being so close. I could actually hear helicopters flying off throughout the entire evening to be honest. So we've got a Mercedes that has just decided to pull up just as I was about to have a pee and get naked. But I think we'll give it a few minutes. Temperature wise, my thermometer actually fell off the wall in the middle of the night. So my uh, stick on methods didn't work. It's 12.1 degrees, 96% moisture in the air. Obviously because I've been breathing in here. So this was obviously home for the night. Now you can probably see it a bit better. And up there is sort of where most people park because obviously then you're a bit closer to the shop because there's no need really, unless the car park was super busy to park all the way down here. And that was the setup for last night. Let's see if the car actually starts today for the first time. Yes, happy days. Now hopefully I shouldn't have any more problems with my car not starting because I bought myself a Noco GB40 jump start kit. One of you guys recommended this to me uh, on Instagram. You said there was a sale on at Halfords. I think it was meant to cost around £90, but I got it for £70 because of the sale and a Halfords trade card discount. Sorry, love. Pick myself up a couple of panna chocolates to eat now. I'm gonna finish these off for breakfast and then head on out of here. But another successful supermarket stealth camp. And to be honest, even better than the one I did in Asda because it was far more peaceful and quiet the only thing obviously to be concerned about is that fine make sure to give me a follow on instagram because i do a few updates on there and if i do get a letter or something through the post then i'll probably post a quick little story about it on uh, on instagram recently i do feel like i have lost a bit of motivation and purpose but that's just because of the current situation that we're all going through at the moment hopefully things will get better in the next couple of months but only time will tell thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to subscribe as we are almost at that hundred thousand mark and as always i'll catch you in the next video